Hello and welcome back to A Guy With Good Gear. This week, as promised, I'm going to be reviewing the Victorinox Classic. Just to go over some basic specs, unopened this knife is 2 inches long, and with the blade open it's 3 and 3 quarter inches long, so it's a very small knife. The way I personally carry this is by uh, putting it in my my change pocket or that coin pocket in your pants, that's where I like to put it, it just sort of gets out of the way, it frees up your regular pockets. Obviously I don't carry this by itself, it's too tiny. The tools it's got, obviously the knife that I showed you, it's got this uh, nail file screwdriver combination there that works pretty well as a pry bar. I've used it for that good number of times and it's it's perfectly fine. There's no no movement. This knife can do more than you, you'd expect a knife this size to do. Obviously you don't want to push it too far because it's a tiny little knife and uh, it's not going to be cutting down trees and stuff. Honestly, the first time I saw it, I laughed at it because I didn't know why you would want a knife that small, but if you're one of those people, I definitely recommend just getting one. Using it, it'll be, you'll like it. Anybody will like this knife. They come in tons of handle patterns. This one is, uh, it's got these sort of yellowy handles which actually glow in the dark quite well. I'll just take the flashlight here just to warm it up quickly. You can see already it's glowing pretty good and this just does it through sunlight throughout the day. You can see side I haven't charged, which is the one I did. Glows pretty good. It's also got the uh, the scissors here. They should have a spring, but after three years, three years I've owned it, they did. They, it wore out and, uh, you know, with the scissors, or with the spring and the scissors, they're great. You can cut your nails, cut paper, little pieces of paper and stuff like that. Without them, they're decent. It, I don't know, it's a, a bit annoying, so I'll definitely have to get a new spring. And then we got the toothpick here. I've never used it as a toothpick. I've used it, I don't know, just for getting gunk out of what, the knife and whatnot. Got the amazing Victorinox tweezers. If you have not used Victorinox tweezers, they're amazing. They're the only tweezers I own. They're good. You know, get slivers out, get wood ticks on you, things like that. It's got this uh, key ring here, which Victorinox counts as a feature. I would not necessarily say that that is a feature, but uh, you, a lot of people like to keep these on their keys. Just forget about it. Yep, it's uh, a really good knife. I happened to uh, have this on me when I got a big piece of rope stuck in my, my bike's gears and I had to cut it out. And that would have taken a long time to untangle that by hand. This thing is there for about five minutes still untangling it, but uh, that's nowhere near how long I would have been there if I hadn't had it on me. It's never never was designed to be, obviously, carried by itself. You're going to want something else with it. But uh, if you do have something else with it, it's nice. So if, say I've got my my Groman on me and then it's a bit too big. Obviously, this is an eight and a half inch long knife. And it might be getting in the way or I'm worried that it'll damage the edge. I don't want to do that. You can just take this thing out. It's a lot smaller. You can get into smaller places. The edge doesn't matter a whole lot because well, it's, a, it's a $30 knife compared to the $110 Roman, so it's a nice knife just to sort of beat up on a little bit. It has taken everything that I've thrown at it. It's it's definitely worth picking one up, using it, adding it to your collection. They're very collectible. If all you want to do is collect them, they have tons of different uh, scales and handle varieties that Victorian Ox asked their fans to design some, and every year they'll make I don't know, ten, fifteen different. Uh, handle options. They're they're quite impressive. I haven't bought any of them personally, but they are very nice. Nice to collect. I there's guys that that's all they'll collect is just these little classics here. Yep. Go uh definitely go take a look at them. They're only 30 bucks and they're that might be a little expensive for their size, especially considering that you can get an open L number 10, which is many times the size of this thing for 30 bucks and you might think that that's a bit of a dumb decision but they're well worth the 30 dollars just like the open l number 10 just cheap little knives oh i'm sure there have been 
hundreds of thousands of the or tens of thousands of these that have been confiscated by TSA workers and security workers because people forget they're on their keys or in their pockets. But I guess that's sort of what they were designed for is just throwing it on your keys or throwing it in your pocket and forgetting it's there until you need it. Yeah, until next week, have a good day.